There is a style of fence called gabion, gabion wall, where you take stone and you put it in a vessel and it becomes the wall. Here at my front gate, I have a solar commander with an old solar panel, and then I have built gabion walls at the gate. All right, I sketched out a quick plan to make room for a 60 cell module and these other uh, 60 watt panels that I have. Okay, we're down here at the front gate making the gabion wall. And so we need a little bit of power for the gate opener, the lights and the cameras, etc. So I've welded up this uh, solar commander uh, leftover two inch schedule 40 pipe some five inch structural steel and some three inch structural steel primed and painted a nice gray and silver i have these leftover solar rails a little bit beefy for this application but we're going to use them and i have some reclaimed 75 watt uh, panels we're going to use three of these um, to make a nice 12 volt system with three 12 volt panels it'll be plenty of power for lights camera and action Stand by for completion. Okay, building the building the gate power system. This is a reclaimed metal box from some project that used to be mounted to a truck. And so the door, this door would open facing your face, facing the front. This would be the front of the door. Um, and this surface which is the bottom. And now it's been used as a toolbox for a while, storage box. And I have uh, collected some uh, DC breakers a charge controller and an old inverter. And I made this blue frame out of a pallet, some pallet wood. I did that to uh, raise the items up off the floor some. And then right here, I'll put uh, some old batteries and this will boot up into a thousand watt. I think it's a thousand watts. I think that sounds right. A thousand watt, 12 volt DC inverter. And then I'll have some solar power coming in. So, it'll be ready in just a second. We'll go boot it up. Okay, AGM swap from yesterday. Nutted 16 old batteries. They're old. I mean, 10, 12 years old. There's a date code here somewhere. I think it was JK. All right, here's eight of them. And so, and then over here is the other eight. And I have a tiny house that needs a little bit of power. So, I'm gonna trickle these down one more time. But I only need eight of them. Yeah, I need eight. Six times eight is 48. That's right. 48 volt um, inverter coming in and uh, grow tech. Grow tech, grow, oh, whatever the inverter is called. I just forgot already. Load test procedure is like this. Put a uh, quarter ohm load on the uh, battery for some number of minutes. Measure the voltage after the load to make sure battery has enough capacity to be included in a group so these batteries are passing and oh, it's cold here luckily it's cold enough where the heat the dummy load doesn't get hot so much but yes it does have some current flowing through it and uh, some of the batteries over here have bad terminals this is the last one I'm testing to pass it to go into its Next use, the sixth use, I think, so far here on the homestead. So they're like commodities. Move them around until they just can't anymore. All right, next step. And now we've got the um, battery box uh, in place. Drug it over here, got it set up. Let's walk around. And I have these used batteries. They're still. They still have plenty of life left in them. <clears throat> I'm still a little bit wetted from moving them in place. And then I've got the, I've got to tighten the brass bolts and I've got uh, four six volt batteries. This is gonna be a 12 volt system because I have a 12 volt inverter. And so I've got six volts and six volts connected in series for 12 and two more six volts connected in series via this bus bar. And then I'll have the two 12 volt groups connected in parallel with these jumpers. And then I'll have 600 amp hours at 12 volts using the uh, brand new nameplate rating. I think I'll probably have 200 amp hours in each group instead of 300, but who knows, who cares? So yeah, tightening these up, I'm gonna tighten 
all of these brass bolts. That'll take a minute. And then uh, after we get them all tightened, it'll power it up. And my phone is almost out of juice. So I'm gonna go ahead and charge it while I'm here connecting up the solar panel wires and uh, benefit from some of the power we have here. All right, stay tuned. All right, we got the solar panels wired up. I have three panels. I'm gonna wire them in parallel. And to make it easier, I'm gonna bring all three parallel lines down into the box into uh, our three solar input breakers. Then if, since these panels are old and used, <clears throat> it'll be easy to isolate if one of them is gonna have a malfunction. And so I can measure uh, this last panel to make sure it's open circuit voltage is appropriate. It is 19.4 volts, and that's a positive number. And my positive lead is on the positive side of the breaker. And the negative lead is on the negative bus bar. So I know I've got the right polarity on this panel. And then I can turn on the breaker and switch to amps and zero the amps, DC amps. And then I can clamp on here to see, Oop. okay, there we go. That um, that panel is putting out 3.2 amps and then I can measure the other panel. Let's see here. Uh, get in there. Get in there. One-handed. Yeah. 2.5. And let's see. Where's number three? Back over this way. So 2.8. All right. So these panels are putting out approximately the right amount of current for their nameplate rating. <clears throat> we can go around to the front here and take a look. Uh, you can see that middle panel needs to be washed. Boy, does it. And actually, it was putting out the best current. So this is a, that's a BP brand, a 75-watt panel. And the other two are not BPs. They're just older. And I think the array this came off of got struck by lightning. So they still put out some power. They're not full blast. But now we have Solar Commander powered up and ready to power the lights at the gate and the other security devices. I'm happy. Reclaimed all of these items. Uh, reused the steel. This was previously welded somewhere else. Everything was. And so maybe a little bit more gray paint and this project will be a wrap. Thanks for watching. We have these ants called crazy ants. And, um, they get into stuff. They really have an appetite for electricity for some reason. And so I come down here and have an old inverter in my gate and um, <laughs> they ate something in the inverter which causes it to uh, let the smoke out. Oh, geez. Oh, yeah. See that? Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know. Okay, well, time for a new inverter. Gate refresh, take three, and action. Here's a 270 watt monocrystalline panel that I received, which had been oversprayed by paint during a house repainting. So they got upgraded with a clean panel. I got one that still works, even though it's got a bunch of paint on it. I did use a magic eraser to clean this column. I will have to uh, clean the rest of the panel. But it puts out more than the three 60 and 70 watt panels we're putting out, so upgrade. Also, in the battery box, I have upgraded to a Victron sine wave inverter. You can see here. And a Victron smart charge controller to um, harvest the capacities of the uh, 60 cell module on a 12 volt battery. And I had to put a new timer in because this timer broke. I'm not sure like, what kind of luck is this. But then this is what happens when you recycle parts. I've got a lot of use out of this system, even though a lot of it's recycled. So there's still budget. Put that in the refuse bin for now. I organized the breaker some, thinned it down. I still have to uh, put this wire through a knockout. It's going to take a little work. I may actually, in the end, move this entire thing further th uh, that way. This is facing southwest, or rather west even, because south is a big oak tree, and I don't want to remove that at the gate. 
So I may move it over to this location, but I digress. All right, refresh, Victron. I've been using a lot of Victron equipment lately. I like it. It's modern and it's hopefully sealed up good enough to combat these crazy ants because they are in fact crazy. They're crazy for solar power just like me. It's like we're cousins or something, sort of. All right, signing out for now. Excellent project. I'm happy with the results. Um, I'll fade into a nighttime view of the gate so you can see how wonderful it is having lights at your gate at night. All right, this is why Maverick MacGyver built a solar commander at the gate. The gate commander, if you will. I've got lights on the gate. This is a gabion wall, and I will make a video about how I constructed the gabion wall. But the basic premise here is we have some lights that come on, and this is just an LED strip mounted to an angle aluminum mounted, which is mounted to a cedar 2x6, which has been ripped. Anyway, don't want to get too far into that because that's a separate video coming out soon. But the solar commander at the gate powers the items at the gate without having to have separate electricity run down here. It's pretty far to the house, and um, I didn't want to have a separate meter just for that. So, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Maverick MacGyver out.